Hey everybody again, uh, this is Robert from Solid Rock Painting. Um, they have this job here, the two bedroom, one and a half bath for the Realty company we work for. As you can tell, I've done taking off all of the light switch and uh, plug covers. I've patched up all the holes and damage in the walls. I just wanted to uh, make another video and point out a few things. This place is about probably 20 years old and not once has anybody come in here and caulked any of this baseboard. None of it. Anywhere throughout this whole place. Nothing. You're always supposed to caulk the baseboard. You get a better line, it's a cleaner line, it looks better, but most people, they just, the handyman in this, uh, this town and some of the companies, uh, realty companies that use these people, they get away with not doing it. They'll charge them, they'll tell them they, didn't, they did it and they didn't do it, and so forth and so on. But as you can tell, I have patched up everything that needed it. One thing too, as we're cleaning that, we're cleaning the place too. Look how filthy this is. This refrigerator pulled out so easy, but look at that nastiness. Look at that. And people live like that. I mean, come on y'all, clean your place up. And look, it was, look at the dust behind here. But the reason why I mainly pulled it out was to be able to clean it, plus to see if there was any bad places that needed to be patched up rather than putting all my mud up and then finding out when I'm ready to paint that it needs to be patched up. All the plugs are off. We're replacing this blind, so I gotta take this down. And I'm fixing up the screens, to fix, put them on, back on the windows out there. But as you can tell, I've done the patch work that needed to be done. Never mind the mess, I'll clean it up when I get it. This was so bad, it looked like they had a dog in there that was scratching the wall or something. I don't know, they might have been, or maybe a small child, you never know, you know, with some people. But as you can tell, you know, all the patchwork, that was bad over there. And I guess the tenants probably did this so they could get their deposit back. Didn't even sand it. That is so bad. I mean, then again, probably another handyman did it, seeing some of the work that most of these guys do in this town. Um, yeah, I, and I'm trying to run them out. I'm, the reason why I'm trying to do what I do, because I'm thorough, I'm consistent, I pay attention to every little detail on anything that I do. Just like none of this baseboard has ever been caught. Now I will be taking off all these so I can get a straight line when I paint, so I might have to keep buttoning up to this and everything. See, this is almost coming out anyways. So I'll take all those off so I can get a straight line on all of it. All the patchwork through here. All down through here. Now it's funny because this should have actually been patched up at one time. Uh, this this is a phone jack. Wasn't even or I guess it was a cable line at one time or in a phone jack. I don't know. I've never seen a plug like this. Uh, usually it's a phone jack or a cable jack, but it wasn't even connected. It wasn't even in there. So. This should have probably been patched up at one time, just like another one in the other room. I took the shelf out of the closet so it'll be easier to work in. Most people want to leave the shelves in there. Uh, it popped right out just like the one in the master bedroom did. So this is where I'm at. And uh, take off the doorbell casing so I can cut around that. And this will stay, but I'll, I'll cut it nice and neat, uh, tight around the smoke detector. Um, I'll make sure that works before we leave, before it gets rented out. But um, this is property management. Basically, what I do too is to check thoroughly, go through everything, and you know, it's just the way it is. There's my primer. I'm using, unfortunately, it's the PVA drywall primer and sealer. It's real good stuff. Um, 
even though it's from Sherman Williams, this is probably the best stuff that I like that to get from Sherman Williams as far as a primer and a seal. So, oopsies. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm here at this job. Rhonda is actually over at the uh, downtown job. She's laying flooring and painting down there today. And people are asking us why we don't hire anybody. For what? I can't babysit. People that know how to do this business want to argue about how to do things. And I'm not one to argue with somebody. I'll just tell you, get off my job if you can't do what I ask you to do when I'm paying you. Because people I've worked for, I've done everything they've ever wanted to be done, never argued with them, and gave them a really good day's worth of work. So we don't hire anybody because we can actually, uh, it's me on the job, it's like having two people on the job. Rhonda on the job, Rhonda on the job is like having two people on the job. So there's no reason for us hiring anybody. I'll get the primer coat on here today, sand everything down today, do a bunch of little other stuff, and get a big jump on it. So I appreciate y'all watching. Take care. God bless.